Hey, I wanted to make a video to explain the difference between a Kawasaki 750 big pin and a Kawasaki 750 small pin. I also have a 650 engine here. Um, so when they're referring to big pin, you have the connecting rod and you have a wrist pin. The wrist pin goes through the piston and uh, connects to the connecting rod. So on a big pin, if you measure this, you're gonna get 22 millimeters. On a small pin, this wrist pin, it's gonna be 21. And on a 650, 20 millimeters. So that is what they're referring to. If, uh, if you're looking at the engine in the ski, if you can try and look down in the middle and see on the big pin, it has an extra stud. Now, sometimes people remove it and run a single carb intake off of a 750, possibly. So on a 750, it's just gonna be straight, smooth. There's gonna be no, no stud there. Um, on the 750s, I don't know what year, but there are some where the flywheel has this taper. I think it might be a one year deal. So the flywheel has a taper. You're gonna need, uh, sorry, if the crankshaft has this taper, you're gonna need the flywheel with the taper. If it doesn't, doesn't have a taper right there, it's more straight. You're gonna want the fly, uh, the crankshaft that uh, does not have that angled taper. Um, if you need to remove a 750 flywheel from the crankshaft, all you need, go to the hardware store, get an 18 millimeter fine thread bolt. You have one wrench holding this, and then you tighten this down. That'll push the uh, flywheel off. Now this one, appears to be tapped and threaded so it's possible to run a 650 stator some people like to do that then they can advance the uh, timing three degrees or however um, so this would be without tapped and drilled this would be the stock 650 set up that way you would also need to run the wire so you probably need to drill that out or if it had a rubber plug um, to run the stator wire out the back because the 750 the stator normally sits outside the flywheel bolted to the uh, cover there whereas the 650 just going to have the cover over the top uh, on the outside of the flywheel. Here is a harmonic balancer tool. If you need to remove the flywheel from a 650, uh, I like to put tape on the threads and don't run the threads in any more than 10 millimeters or you're gonna hit the stator wires and damage that. When you're using a harmonic balancer puller, make sure you do not use this part. Otherwise, it's just pushing against the flywheel and you're trying to pull on the flywheel and push on it and that is not gonna do anything. You need this center threaded bolt to push against a crankshaft and you need these bolts to pull against the flywheel. Normally you get that on there tight, start threading this in till this is pushing, give this a few taps on the end of the hammer. Sometimes you have a, a crowbar or a solid like oak or some sort of hardwood to keep it from uh, turning as you're turning this with a ratchet. You don't have to go crazy, and then usually you tap it. Sometimes you do have to use a little bit of heat. Normally, I haven't had to use um, heat to get them off. Now the 750 big pins, uh, if it's teal, that's usually a 750 big pin. Uh, the last year that they made a uh, 650 was 1996. They put it on the TS, the Tandem Sport. So there is a teal 650 engine. Um, the 750 small pin. Uh, I don't know the colors on those. I think normally it's silver. But there is a silver with a darker green top. That is a 750 uh, big pin. I have that in one of my skis. Um, so here are... Some intake manifolds. Now on the small pin, 
they tend to run a bigger opening um, than the big pin. Big pin kind of has, um, some people might call these reed stuffers, but I believe this is the stock setup. A lot smaller, kind of affects the, the velocity of the air going in there. Has to do with the port timing uh, on the big pin 750s. Uh, I believe a 750 big pin is supposed to have more top end. Uh, the 750 small pin is a little bit lighter, a little bit snappier. The crankshaft is lighter, so a little bit snappier bottom end throttle response. Sometimes people mix and match those. There's, uh, you have to do it the right way to get it to work. So um, this would be a 750 small pin. There's no bolt holes here. So that would be 750 small pin. You could bolt it to a 750 big pin. If you remove the studs, it will bolt up. And the same thing, you could bolt this right onto a small pin with these two. This one does not have the, uh, the holes for the studs. So this would be the dual carb setup. If you're ever going to look at a ski or look at an engine, if you see that it has rust, it's probably not a good sign. There's probably going to be rust on the uh, crank bearings. That was the issue with this one. You can hear the bearings quite loud when you spin it. This one's a lot better, but one of the bearings is damaged. Um, the single Single 750s normally came with the 40 millimeter key in. Uh, the doubles did come with dual, dual key in 40 millimeter carburetors. Um, the 650s originally came with the 28 millimeter style, which had a uh, separate remote fuel pump to it. So this would be the earlier style 650 intake manifold the later ones were a little bit more of a rounded uh, shape and then they kind of went to the 38s and then in uh, I believe 94 they actually put 40 millimeter carburetors from the factory uh, on the 650 engines this one has a aftermarket west coast head give it higher compression. If you get it up to 180 PSI, uh, you're supposed to still be able to run like 92 octane, the higher octane pump gas. Um, so that is some of the differences. I probably left some things out, but if you're looking at uh, 750 jet ski and you're wondering what the difference between a uh, big pin and small pin, hopefully that gives you uh, some idea.